as a human family, we've had an enormous wake-up call to how connected we are with a tiny little virus that comes along and shuts us down. We all live in this world together. The same blood flows in me and every any other person. We're facing the challenges of an ecosystem that is stressed. Things are not moving as fast as they should. Things are improving, but not as fast as they should. The challenges that we are facing, they are materializing so fast that it's not only my children or grandchildren which will experience the consequences if we fail. To do it, we need to do it together. Collaboration, north, south, east, west, you know, black, brown, white. Strength in the diversity of the human family is what we need right now to get us past this incredibly difficult time. It might sound like it's impossible, but you know, that's what we work towards, making the um, impossible possible. 20 years ago, a small group of United Nations and business leaders came up with a visionary proposal. I propose that you, the business leaders here gathered in Davos, and we, the United Nations, initiate a global compact of shared values and principles which will give a human face to the global market. <clears throat> I always say part of Kofi Annan's genius was he invited business, but he also addressed civil society and labor organizations. The mission of the United Nations Global Compact is to mobilize companies around the world to align their operations and strategies with 10 universal principles in the areas of human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption. The UN represents the body that aims to drive international cooperation and drive peace and security for humanity. And I think it unifies all of society around this set of 17 goals. Our objectives uh, cannot be met if the private sector doesn't play an, a fundamental role. And so the Global Compact is a, a platform in which all those uh, businesses that abide by the principles of, uh, and values of the United Nations and of the Charter uh, to work together representing uh, the best of humankind. For the last two decades, the initiative has grown to encompass local networks in more than 60 countries, engaging directly with over 10,000 companies. The local networks are our global footprint around the world, and they work with us to translate the 10 principles as well as the sustainable development goals into actionable pieces of work for businesses globally. It is so decided. Since 2015, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement have provided the most powerful common agenda that the world has ever seen with an essential role spelled out for business. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. Any business that continues to operate under its own self-interest will not be around very long. So businesses that have a strong purpose, that understand how they can make society better, will be embraced by society and will be around for a long time. Be the change that you want to see in business. I truly believe that companies who do not put sustainability, the SDGs, in their strategies, they're going to disappear. The mindset of consumers has changed. They increasingly want to buy from companies that are contributing to society as a whole. Business must be part of the solution in when we address these big global problems. The focus has shifted to both the short term and the long term, both doing well and doing good making profits and making a change. This is a reality of the world now. Leaders need to lead sustainably. The United Nations Global Compact is leading the transformation ahead, challenging companies to take more ambitious action on the sustainable development goals. I think it's absolutely impossible to face the challenges of today, the very quick change uh, that is happening without having the youth uh, leading the way and helping us define uh, the right strategies, the right policies, the right approaches to address uh, the, the global problems. The world is waking up and change is coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> Profit!
The world today has got more opportunities than it has the challenges um, that can be overcome by the opportunities that we have. You find people in the most desperate of situations, determined to fight for a better future. That's the kind of world I want. What has changed in a very short period of time is that the narrative is different, and that is fantastic. If you want to have a good business, you have to mobilize people. A business is a sum of people working to something. More and more people realize that sustainability is really about making the pie bigger, better, and more inclusive. I hope in the future all businesses in the world will think about their own purpose. Businesses can only exist when they have a purpose. We've got to show progress. We've got to reverse what's happening. I see the Global Compact as an incredible organization working together with businesses to build a more sustainable world. We are united across the globe for the globe. We're united despite our challenges, no matter how daunting the task may seem. We are united by possibilities because this is bigger than one business, because we are better together. We all have the same job. We are united in the business of a better world.